Now you're ready for the balance sheet. Please take out a scratch piece of paper and use the adjusted account balances on the following page and the ending retained earnings balance from the statement of stockholders equity, specifically the statement of retained earnings, to prepare a classified balance sheet as of 1231 X1. Here's a formatting hint. Label it with the company name, specify that it's a balance sheet, but the date will be as of the end of the accounting period, December 31st X1. Under assets, you'll put the current assets together, total them up, non-current assets total them up, add the two to get total assets. Total assets should then be equal to total liabilities and stockholders equity. Under liabilities to be classified, you'd have to classify them into the current liabilities and the non-current liabilities, total them up. Under equity, you classify by the contributed capital and the earned capital, total them up to get total stockholders equity. Total liabilities plus total stockholders equity will give you total liabilities and stockholders equity, which will equal total assets. I've already put in the classifications we did before, so you could quickly and easily find your current assets, contra assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, and non-current liability, as well as your equity account. The one that's not on this list is the ending retained earnings. You have to remember that because retained earnings was zero, so I didn't include it on this list, but we now have an ending retained earnings that you will need on the balance sheet. Good luck. Here's the asset side of the balance sheet. As you can see, we took all of our current assets, added them up to get total current assets. One thing that's a little unusual is we have the gross receivables, and then we had to deduct its contra asset called allowance for doubtful accounts to arrive at net receivables. But if you add all these numbers up straight down, you're going to get to 182, 190. Then we moved on to our non-current assets. Once again, we had to take equipment minus its contra asset for accumulated depreciation to get its book value. Same thing for buildings to get its book value. And our total property equipment is 203, 700. Take our current assets, add to that our non-current assets, and we have 385890 Now, if our liabilities and equity don't add up to that number, then we've done something wrong. Let's go on to page two. All of our current liabilities added up, 60134 Long-term debt, 160000 So our total liabilities are 220134 Here's the common stock and retained earnings from the statement of shareholders' equity. To get total stockholders' equity, 165756 if you add your total liabilities and your total stockholders equity, you get total liabilities and stockholders equity of 385890 Looking back on the assets, 385890 Our balance sheet balances, which it should have because our adjusted trial balance balance. It appears we've done that properly. Let's step back and look at that balance sheet from the most fundamental level, which is the balance sheet equation which I introduced in the very first video of this course. Assets equal liabilities plus equity. Total assets 385,890 equals liabilities 220,134 and equity 165,756. Those added together give us 385,890 and we are in balance. Yippee!